Hello guys, this is November 1 Charlie Yankee and as promised we're gonna make a video on programming and saving in memory channels on this quad band from China the QYT KT8R so this radio is a quad band FM radio it will transmit on 220 2 meters 440 megahertz and 350 now for amateur radio operators we don't use 350 but you can listen and this is a cool feature look here you get a, a bar for the microphone it tells you how strong your voice is up on the top of the screen if you see the mic thing wow let me set the radio down and I will explain what I mean I can zoom in wow look at that wow wow are you kidding me wow look at that this is so nice guys look at that display it's amazing very nice color display i love it really love it so anyway guys let's uh, get into it let me show you how you can program a frequency into memory with this radio okay so the first thing what we gotta do is we gotta program a repeater frequency in VFO and of course there's three things that you have to know first of all it's all menu controlled so basically what you want to do is you want to activate the menu uh, system by pressing on the menu button and you go to menu 13 for the PL menu number 51 for the shift direction up or down plus or minus and menu number 52 for the shift value on UHF we have 5 megahertz on 2 meters we have 600 kilohertz and on 220 we have 1.6 megahertz so let's dive in so you're in VFO mode and you select VFO by pressing here and then we're going to program the channel and then we program the uh, PL and the shift direction and the shift value. So I want to program this channel 223.760. I want to program this one here and right here we have 224.300 so I simply push Two, 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 three, three seven, seven, six, zero, zero. So the radio, of course, talks back to you in English and Chinese. It's it's amazing. It's incredible. So now I have the frequency in there. So I go to menu. Menu. And I want to go to mem uh, menu number 13. One, three. Okay, so the PL is for this repeater is 110.9. So I press menu again. CTCSF. And I rotate the dial, the one next to the audio knob. This is the audio knob. This is the selection dial. And we go 110.9. 110.9. I press menu again. To confirm confirm okay now I go to menu number 55 one one shift direction okay now do frequency you want to shift direction up or down you want it off for simplex off for simplex or plus or minus we want it minus so once you select that then you press menu again to confirm. confirm. Then we go to 52. Five, two. Okay, Sh offset value. 1.6 megahertz, that is true. You can change it by pressing menu again. Offset frequency. And then once you get it to what whatever one you want, you press confirm. menu again to confirm. So now I have the three things to get me on the air. 
So with stolen VFO, okay, so now we're gonna transmit, make sure it works, and then I'll show you how to save it in memory. Very easy, very, very easy. Let's see if it's gonna work. I'm gonna transmit here next to this guy. Yep. Yep. It is working. NYC right testing NYC right testing one two three four four three two one NYC right testing one two three four four three two one Wow guys very good very good so I'm gonna show you now how to save this in memory manually now you can do it through the software because the radio does come with a programming cable and you can download the software online which is very easy and once you do that you can do alpha tags with the software however if you do it manually you cannot do alpha tags you can only do channel numbers and what happens is it will program the receive frequency first then you program the transmit frequency and you save them in the memory channel so the receive frequency is obviously 223.76 and the, the transmit frequency is 222.16 can one see why again so 222.16 so basically what I do is now I want to go to uh, memory programming and what you do you press menu menu number five zero five zero, zero. okay so I want to go to select a memory channel Here we go. okay we go select Actually, I think, I think it's a number 49. Sorry, it's menu number 49. To delete in memory, you go to number 50. To program in memory and save it, you go to number 49. Memory channels. Okay, so now we're going to go in, press menu. Memory channel. Then we're going to go select in memory to program. I'm going to program this in number 30. Here we go, number 30. What I do is I press menu again to confirm. Receiving memory. Receiving memory. Here we go. So now we got the receiving memory. Okay, so now we exit, press exit. Now I have to program here the transmit frequency, which is two, 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 two one, one, six. six. Zero. zero okay zero okay. let's see here two okay we put too many zero if you press exit you go back you delete two two two, 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 two one, one six, six. no uh, delete six Zero. Zero. There you go. So we got that. So 222.160, that's your transmit frequency. Now you're gonna program it in number 30. And it'll go in as a transmit frequency. So I go press menu again. Menu. Go in there. Memory channel. And then press menu one more time because this is the, the, the one that you program to receive. Now you program the transmit. Transmitting memory. Transmitting memory. Beautiful. Point two, reflector 12, module A. So there you go, guys. This is how you program it. So now, 
we are still in VFO. If we want to go to memory, I press on this. Channel mode. Channel mode. And I got number seven. I want to go to number 30. Three, zero. There you go. There it is. There you go. Number 30. And this is the repeater frequency right here. So you get the receive and the transmit programmed in memory number 30. There you go, guys. It's so easy. Now let's confirm that. Let's talk. Let's talk. There we go. N1CY, N1CY, testing again, N1CY. Perfect guys, I love it, I love it. It is so easy, it's so easy. Now again, it does show the frequency up top, it does show the, the, the channel number. So it, it's... And then again, if you wanna program um, uh, alpha tag, you want to program an alpha tag you can do it through the software so you can do this through the software well there you have it guys thank you so much this is an outstanding radio however uh, let me show you something uh, if you open the back of this radio so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the radio off so if you open the battery the battery slides down here we go does come with a belt clip, by the way. And remove the battery. Now look at this, guys. There's nothing from the FCC. There's nothing from the FCC. Two-way radio, KT8R. It's a power is five watts. This is the, the the frequencies that it will talk on. 350 to 390 megahertz. Wow. 220 to 260. One day. So you can program a GMRS radio. Um, nothing from the FCC okay uh, so yeah it is what it is what can we do and by the way the mic it will take a, a typical Kenwood microphone so if you have a Kenwood microphone it will fit perfectly in here it will fit perfectly in here if you have a Kenwood microphone and I do have one we have a Kenwood. So I do have a Kenwood microphone, guys, and I, I just plugged in the microphone to it. So this is the, the radio with the Kenwood microphone. So we got a Kenwood. I don't forget the model number of this microphone here, but this is a, a heavy duty Kenwood microphone with a speaker input. Or an ear for an earphone or what have you right there. This is a Kenwood microphone right here. It's connected to the radio. Let me turn the radio on. There's the radio. Let's turn the radio on. It's difficult to do this in one hand. But here's the radio with the Kenwood microphone. Again, it goes on the side here. And you can remove this. It's got a Phillips screw. You can remove it. And then you can operate the radio with the Kenwood microphone. And just to try it out with the microphone for your convenience. That's, uh, of course, really difficult to hold the camera and talk on the radio at the same time. But uh, we're still on this frequency here. And we're going to push to talk. Yep. N1CY, testing November 1, Charlie Yankee. Boy, check this out. This is so cool. N1CY, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. N1CY, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Outstanding, guys. I really love this radio, guys. I really love this radio. I really love this radio. Let me do it again here so you can see what's happening. When I talk with the microphone, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and one, see what this thing. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one.
okay here we go so guys I, I will put the link to the radio in the description below and thank you for watching and let me know what your thoughts are so this was uh, imported to this country under the guise of a toy so that's why the FCC does not have its stamp on it in the back so this this radio came here as a toy it's a 5 watt multi-band quad band radio that was imported here as a toy let me know what you think in the description below in the comment below comment your heart out subscribe we're going to be making a lot more videos. I really appreciate your support. And thank you for watching. And God bless. Come N1CY. Bye-bye.